Hey guys, I'm Victoria and today I'm going to be going over graphic design basics. So what I'm specifically going to be going over in this video is color, layout, fonts, inspiration, and file types. I'm also going to be going over free tools that anyone can use. Colors kind of set the mood for a whole design. For yellow, you might think of happy, or red, you probably think of angry. If you go on Pinterest, you can do a search for a specific color palette that you're looking for. For example, you type in relaxed color palettes into Pinterest, and it'll give you a ton of examples. And then you can also make a Pinterest board and then save all the color palettes that you like. If you're still having problems picking a color palette, Canva.com actually has a free color generator. With layout, white space or negative space is a really important part of the design. For this example, the design on the left feels very heavy and cluttered because there is not enough negative space around the design. And the one on the right feels balanced and spacious with all the negative space to the left and above the text. Another important aspect of your layout is alignment. Imagine that your design is on a grid. You want to make sure that the graphics and text are lining up in a way that makes sense. In this example, all the graphics are centered with the text below it. And the graphic elements are all aligned with each other, and so are the text elements. You want to make sure the information in your design is organized in a way that's easy to consume. For this example, I grouped together the information that was related to each other. My business name and tagline are on top, and on bottom are my social media handles. An awesome free tool to use to create your own designs is Canva.com. They have a bunch of templates that you can use to start with, or you can create your own from scratch. And then when you're done with your design, you can export the file as you would from any other paid software program. So a good rule with fonts is to never use more than two different fonts in a design. And similar to colors, fonts kind of give off like their own mood and vibe. These are some examples of how different fonts give off different vibes. When picking fonts for your design, you just really want to make sure that you're pairing fonts that work well together. A safe way to pair fonts is to use two different fonts from the same font family. In this example, I'm using Futura Bold for the headline and Futura Condensed Medium for the paragraph text. You can pick two different fonts, but you just want to make sure that they're not too similar and they're like not too crazy different. You just want them to have like a healthy contrast. Here are some examples of fonts that pair well together. And a good place to find free fonts is defont.com. Pinterest is one way to find inspiration. Say you're looking for a business card design inspiration, you would just type in business card graphic design and a bunch of awesome designs are going to come up. Also on Instagram, you can follow graphic design hashtags or on the website dribble, D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E.com. There's just a bunch of awesome graphic designers on there to pull inspiration from. If you're creating a design that is going to be blown up really big, for example, a logo might be printed on something really tiny like a pen, or it might be blown up onto something huge like a billboard. For that, you would want to make the logo a vector file. Vector files are usually saved as AI, EPS, or SVG files. PNG and JPEGs are file formats used for the web and PNGs allow you to save without a background color. Alright guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!